Guys, I, I found a city! Oh my god, my first town is a city! That is awesome! Okay, guys, we are going there. We are going to the city. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Seven Days to Die Alpha 16, the insane series, episode number one. So, guys, today we begin a brand new adventure in the zombie apocalyptic world. After completing the Fight Club in Alpha 15 and triumphing once again, well, we've been thrown into a whole heap of brand new trouble. So, Alpha 16 has brought tons of new features, which I'm really looking forward to trying. We've got sleeper zombies, we've got electricity and traps updates, we've got molotovs. There's so much new stuff that's coming into this, and I cannot wait. Dynamic hordes, 64 zombies per horde. Everything is going to be amazing, guys, in this series. So, um, let's get into the game settings that I'll be using. So, my seed name, as you can see, I've just highlighted on the left-hand side there. And uh, it's uh, Let's Play 7DTD A16. So, if you guys like the seed name, like the world that I've generated. By the way, I've not seen this world before at all. So, I have no idea what it's going to look like. I never use Map Previewer or anything. I just like chucking in a seed name and going for it and seeing what we get. If you end up liking the world, you can go ahead and copy that seed name. And then, if you make a new game, you'll load that up. So now my base settings here, of course we're going to be playing on insane difficulty and everything else is pretty much default. The only difference is, is I've changed the day length to 120 minutes, that's what I always use, plus it will give us a bit more time to, you know, go exploring the world, plus it will give me more time to uh, cater to new players, because maybe you guys are new players and just joining 7 days for the first time, so I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys plenty of advice if I can. Another feature they've added, which I'm super excited about, is 64 zombies alive at once on a horde night. Towards later days it's going to get absolutely insane now you guys should know that i love horde night challenges so if you want to put me in some downright crazy or near impossible situations with a challenge of your very own go ahead and leave me a comment and i would love to give it a try and see if we can live it out for now though let's get started ladies and gentlemen welcome to the zombie apocalypse the Alpha 16 edition. Alrighty, we have finally spawned in our world. So it does take quite a while for this thing to generate the terrain and everything, but here we are. And we've actually received a note, and it says, Dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place, and you look like you could use some help. I mean, you're an incompetent human that set the difficulty to insane, and, you know, can't can get to save you. St stupid idiot. Anyway, it closes a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we just might take in a new citizen. The right river, the, bleh, the white river settlement is real, and it's safe. Good luck, Noah. Alrighty then, let's get started. So, it's given us a starting quest, and you can see that it's uh, on the top right there. And it's pretty much to go ahead and craft a bedroll. Now, I will be going through these basics and everything on camera, just in case there's any uh, newcomers to 7 Days. Uh, maybe this will be like the first video of the game you've ever seen, perhaps. Or, you know, maybe you've just not played it before, or maybe just got it and looking for some, you know, guidance or anything. So... I'm going to go through all this, and hopefully it'll help you out, at least in the early game. So let's go ahead and start our quest. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, go ahead and say continue. And off we go. And we are now given control of our character. This is excellent. And it looks like we're kind of near a snow biome, which is pretty cool. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and gather ourselves some plant fibers to craft ourselves a bedroll. Now, to gather plant fibers, all we need to do is uh, use the mouse to look around. WASD is your uh, movement keys. You can rebind any of these if you want to. But we just need to look around and uh, look at a piece of grass. And every time you punch one, you'll get two plant fibers out of it, which is really, really handy. So let's go ahead and uh, punch a few of these. And we need to get some plant fibers out of it. Now, I'm also going to be going and picking up some other items. You can see that there's a few like little rocks and things around. Now, if you press E when you look at those, you pick them up. The same with these little plants here. These are cotton plants. I'm going to want some of those too. Let's start picking up these small stones as well while we're finding them in the area. Because we're going to need a few of these. And sometimes small stones can be uh, a little bit tricky to get. Um, especially if you're in a plane spine as well. I know they're kind of tricky there. Now, the other thing we're going to go and do is start punching these little shrubs here as well, because you can get wood from these. So if we punch one of those, you see I just got myself two wood. Hooray! Let's go ahead and grab that. And come here, you, and let's grab this as well. There we go. So a couple of things. 
just to uh, go and collect in the early game. There we go. Now let's go ahead and craft our bedroll. So to get into your backpack, just press tab, and this is where you can see all your inventory and all your crafting. Crafting's on the left, inventory is on your right. You can also access your hotbar here and move items into and out of the backpack. You can click and drag to move them uh, from one place to another, so I can swap things over if I want to, or you can go ahead and shift click as well. So I'm going to shift click everything out of my inventory, apart from this one med bandage that I have here. That's going to stay in slot number seven, just because I like slot number seven to be that slot for stuff and things. Now, what we have to do is craft our bedroll. So the stuff that we can craft is on the left-hand side of uh, the menu here, highlighted in white. So th these three things we can currently craft because we have enough resources to do so. So you can see that I've got enough for a stone axe, a stone shovel, or a bedroll. Let's go ahead and do the bedroll. We're just going to click craft, but you can also press W to do exactly the same thing. Now, the only things that can't be rebinded are the hotkeys in the crafting menu. I think those are currently... Um, hard-coded but hopefully those are going to be uh, rebindable in the future because that'd be really really handy let's go ahead and start collecting these plants as well um, you'll see that there's these little gray plants these are snowberries now if you run out of food snowberries can be a good emergency source of food and I but I say I state emergency uh, not lightly because uh, they, that's exactly what they should be treated as emergency sources don't use them as uh, your primary source of food otherwise uh, if you eat too many of them you will actually get snowberry poisoning and that will really sap the life out of your character your your wellness will literally drop like crazy um, if you get that so just be careful of that but if you eat about seven um, then you'll usually be fine just try not to eat more than that in one sitting otherwise you're going to start to feel the effects of it so we're going to collect all of those the white ones we've already seen they're the cotton there's also these yellow ones and the yellow ones are goldenrod and you can use those to make tea and uh, the tea you can use to then uh, rehydrate yourself it'll boost your wellness as well which is really good plus it will also go ahead and cure uh, dysentery as well so that's really really handy to bear in mind so if you accidentally uh, drunk some murky water or caught dysentery from drinking river water if you're running out then goldenrod tea is a good way to uh, save you from uh, the negative effects of that because dysentery is a really bad thing to have especially in the early game it will just drain your stamina and it'll be uh, absolutely nuts so you don't really want to contract that early if at all so that's the one goal for this entire series, guys, is not to contract dysentery. We actually did in the last series as part of a challenge. It was quite funny. Um, okay, let's go ahead and grab these. And that should be fine. So next quest is, I believe, to craft ourselves a stone axe. Um, oh, no, we actually have to place the bedroll first. So to place it, you just have to get that into your hotbar. And you can see that it's now highlighted in slot one. Then just right click when you're looking at a piece of ground and it will place it down for you. You can also pick it up again with E. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's uh, go and get that with uh, my E key. If I can, there you go. Uh, the the uh, hitbox was a little bit weird on that one. All right, now we can craft our stone axe. So we're going to go ahead and do exactly the same thing. Let's go ahead and craft that, and off we go. Stone axe, all done. And that should give me the tool right there. Now, the tools are actually really useful because they'll allow you to harvest resources a little bit faster from the world around you. Now, tools have a few things about them that uh, determine how much damage they do. Um, some of it has to do with your skill, which is, uh, you know, how good you are at using said tools. The other thing is to do with the tool's quality value as well. So you can see right now that on my stone axe right here, I've got a brown bar, which is how much durability is left in the tool. So you'll see that as I start using this, um, little bits of that brown bar are getting taken away. So my durability on this tool is going down. The number in the middle also represents the quality of the tool. The higher the quality of the tool or weapon that you have, the more damage it does to blocks and zombies. And also the longer it lasts too. So definitely a higher quality tool and weapon is better than a lower quality tool or weapon. So one to keep in mind. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is craft some of this, uh, uh, or sorry, not craft some of this stone. We're going to gather, sorry, because I'm in stone. We, we can't craft it, unfortunately. That'd be great, but we got to gather it. So let's go ahead and gather it from this rock here. You'll also see that I'm getting other stuff. The pinkish stuff there is iron ore. That white powdery stuff is potassium nitrate right there. The uh, kind of uh, scrap junk looking item there is lead, that kind of uh, bluey gray stuff there. And I think if we're lucky, we may also get ourselves a piece of coal there we go so that black stuff there is the coal now you can see that my character has run out of stamina so when you use tools a lot your stamina will just degrade but there is perks you can use to help you with that a little bit later on in the game for now though we're just gonna have to wait for our stamina to recover but what we do that'll be a good chance for us to go ahead and uh, do the next quest so we need to gather 35 uh, plant fibers first and then we can go ahead and craft ourselves some plant fiber gear let me grab a bit more than 35 though just so that we have a little bit more of a collection uh, just waiting in the wings for us. So let's go and do that first. There we go. So a bit more. 
And let's go ahead and craft ourselves plant fiber clothing. Now clothing is great because it will protect you from the elements and it will also add a little bit of armor to you so you don't take as much damage from zombies when they hit you, for example. So what we need to do is go ahead and do the plant fiber gloves, the hood, the pants, the shirt, and the shoes. Now when I tried to craft the shoes, you'll see that it wouldn't let me. That's because my queue at the bottom there was actually full. But now that there's a few spaces left in there, we can go ahead and craft the shoes as well. Now the queue is only up to four slots. There's no way to actually increase that um, in your backpack. However, later on in the game, you can actually access a workbench, which allow you to have another crafting queue independent from your bag. So it's like parallel crafting, which is really, really handy. Okay, so it looks like all our stuff is nearly done, which is amazing. So let's go ahead and uh, grab this one little bit of uh, rock right here. Get myself a little bit of iron ore. There we go. And then we can go and grab that. Now the next thing we've got to do is just wear it, which is really easy. You just click on each one, press W. Nice and easy. There we go. We're now wearing plant fiber gear. And it even renders on our character as well. So you can see that my character now has 7% um, pierce and uh, blunt force reduction as well. We've got 12% fire resistance. And we're even um, immune to some effects of... Uh, not immune, sorry. Uh, we're even resistant uh, somewhat to some effects of radiation and electricity as well. Which is really, really handy. Now the other thing I want to do is go ahead and... Uh, let's see if I can chop myself down uh, a tree. Because we're going to need a little bit of wood here and there as well. How much iron did I manage to get from that? 22 iron. So I might want uh, two stones uh, worth of uh, stuff. So let's go ahead and chop this tree down. And then I think we'll be able to go ahead and do the next quest. Because we're going to need a lot of wood as well. Wood is definitely uh, useful to have. And our stone axe now has run out of durability. So we can't use it anymore. However, it hasn't broken and we can repair it. So to repair it, what you need to do is either click on it and press A. Or you can press the repair button up here. So let's go ahead and repair that. And there you go. You can see we've got now a level 24 stone axe. Not a 25 one anymore. So as you repair your items, the quality does actually degrade. So bear that in mind. Because uh, the more you repair your tools the more the quality will degrade. It degrades um, in the early game by about one each time, but some tools can degrade by like up to five or, or more, um, especially uh, especially like really high quality tools. If I had like a quality 500 or so uh, tool and repaired it, it would probably go down to like a 470 or something like that. It will, it will go down quite a lot. And it's based on your skills um, in uh, crafting those particular types of tools. Uh, there's a couple of smithing skills you can actually buy, which will increase the quality at which you craft them. But they will also reduce um, how much is lost when you repair them. So it's a, a useful thing to bear in mind. All right, let's go ahead and do the next quest then, which is to craft ourselves a wood club. So we're going to go ahead and just type in club. You can use the search feature as well. There it is. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves one of those things. That's going to be really useful as well, because we can use that to defend ourselves from the uh, ever, ever vengeful zombies. The ever hungry, ever vengeful, ever evil zombies. Okay, let's go and start walking around this place. And let's start gathering a little bit more wood. And let's see if we can find ourselves some feathers, because that's what we need for the next quest. Let's have a little look around. Oh, I see some junk over there. You can actually interact with items in the world as well. Come up to some junk piles, and you can go ahead and uh, just press E, just like you would to pick up with a stone. There's a little timer on it, though, when you first interact with it, and some items actually have a longer timer than others. Okay, what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to head over. So it looks like there's a snow biome that way. A plains biome that way. So it's kind of a, there's a few different biomes that we've got around here, which is really handy. This area is nice and flat as well. So actually building our building our first base might actually be uh, viable in this area. Maybe. Let's go over this way. And yeah, let's head to uh, let's head to the snow biome because it's going to be a little bit easier for me to spot any birds' nests out there. Now, for anyone who may be new to my channel or my series, um, just as a heads up, I do have um, a visual impairment. I'm completely blind in my left eye and I'm uh, partially sighted in my right eye, so that means my field of vision is much reduced uh, to what yours may be. So, imagine uh, take uh, the left and the right quarter of the screen away, and that is pretty much what I can see right now because uh, I can't actually see my health bar or my hot bar where I'm looking uh, at my crosshair. So yeah, my field of vision is uh, very much reduced um, from uh, the average uh, everyday fully sighted person, I should say. I'm a VIP, a visually impaired person. <laughs> right, there's a bird's nest right there. There we go. So coming in the snow biome was a good idea. Okay, how much have we got in here? 10 feathers. That is perfect. Right, let's search this junk as well, just in case we get anything good. Doesn't look like it. So yeah, there's a bit, a bit of a flat area for the snow biome as well. That's pretty nice. It goes up into like a little bit of a mountain over there as well. So 
not a bad little place. Let's see if we can find some more um, bird's nests as well. At least to get myself a starting stock of feathers. That might not be such a bad idea. Hmm. Is there any over here? There's one over there. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Right, come on then you. Give me some feathers. Five more. Okay, not so bad. I want about, uh, I think about 20 at the start of the game would be a decent amount to grab. What have we got in this junk as well? Lead. Okay. Well, I got some lead already, so we can take that. Right, is there any more around this area? Just having a bit of a look. I don't see... I don't see any more around this area just yet, so that's fine. Hmm. There's some stones, though. We can grab those while we're here. So it's nice and bright in the snow biome. Very easy to see. The snow biome probably has... When the weather's good, the snow biome definitely has the best visibility of all the biomes. Um, especially at night as well. You could actually see quite clearly in the snow biome at night. However, the zombies that spawn in the snow biome are little buggers. They're, they're pretty tough. And you probably don't want to take them on um, very early game. Especially when you don't have a bow yet. When you've got a bow, it might be uh, a feasible idea. But first thing is uh, definitely don't take those guys on. We might see one. We may do. We'll see. Anyway, let's get out of here. Because the snow biome is definitely not one of the safer biomes to be in. So let's head back to the forest where it's a little bit safer. Found a couple of birds' nests, so that'll do. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves a bow and some arrows. So let's do that. So we've got some arrows. So you get 15 of them. And let's get myself a bow as well. There we go. Nice. Right. So while we're waiting for that to uh, do, let's head back to our initial area. So I think we were... Where were we? I think we were somewhere over here. Yeah, let's head, let's head back over to this area here. Let's grab some of those two. We're going to go ahead, I think, and uh, get myself another one of these uh, small resource rocks as well. And there's more golden rock here and uh, cotton and everything. That's really cool. So let's grab all this stuff as well. Clear this area out a bit. And there we go. Let's grab all this stuff. There we go. And this one, this one. And let's go ahead and start uh, crafting these uh, wood frames, which I think is the next one. Yeah, so next one is wood frames. So while we're waiting for um, while we're waiting for stuff, let's go actually and craft some wood frames right here. So wood frames, let's go and do that. So we can just type it in. And we need three wood frames. So essentially it wants us to go ahead and craft three and then upgrade three. It takes quite a lot of wood though. You can see that I've used uh, um, about 15 wood in the, in the crafting of that one. But that's fine. The wood frames actually craft rather quickly as well, which is really handy. So they're a good thing to use if you're trying to make a really quick makeshift shack, to, uh, makeshift, uh, shack or for example, for like boarding up a door or something. They're really handy for that. Okay. Let's go ahead and place these wood frames down as well. That's the next thing. So you can place these down just like you would a bedroll. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, one, two, and three. And then to upgrade the wood frame, you can then go ahead and use your stone axe and then right click. And then four hits later, we have an upgraded wood frame. Now you can pick the frames back up, but you can't pick an upgraded block back up. So definitely uh, consider that before you go ahead and upgrade everything. If you don't like the placement of your blocks, take them up while they're still in their wood frame form. Otherwise, you're going to run into a couple of issues. And that wouldn't be too, that wouldn't be too good. Alrighty then. So next one, we have to build a campfire. So let's go ahead and uh, craft one of those while we're waiting. So let's type campfire. There it is. One of those, if you please. And let's continue harvesting this rock round here. And there we have a campfire. Nice. Let's go and lay that down on the top of those uh, blocks right there. One, two, three. Done. And there we go, guys. That is pretty much the basics of survival. And we've earned skill points, and we need to spend them by accessing the inventory and navigating to the skills menu, then highlight the desired skill or perk and purchase it. All right. Let's go ahead and do that then. So we're going to go into the quests and sorry not the quest the skills and let's go ahead and buy the first one i think there's many skills here so if you're not sure what the skills do you can click on it and it'll tell you what they do so there are two types of skills there's one that level up naturally so you can see these ones with a little bar underneath those level up naturally however other skills do not level up naturally and you have to buy them so i'd recommend just buying ones that don't level up naturally because you can always level up these other ones uh, just by you know practicing that skill so you can see that for example my construction tools is already at level two from using the stone axe so you know in the early game they'll actually go up quite fast the one that i I want to buy though is sexual tyrannosaurus because i want to have a way to recover my stamina a little bit faster so let's go ahead and do that because if your stamina runs out you can't run away and uh, you don't do as much damage with your tools or weapons and the stamina is represented by the blue bar the bar below that is my health so let's go ahead and harvest this last uh, this last rock over here i think my uh, stone axe is about to bite the dust though so let's go and repair that and let's equip our bow as well 
Now, before we go off hunting and stuff, I want to see if I can find um, some zombies to kill. Because then we might be able to harvest their bodies for bones, and then we can go ahead and make a bone shiv. And that's a better hunting tool than the stone axe. The stone axe makes a very bad hunting tool. So I wouldn't go ahead and use that if I were you. Okay, so now what we're going to do, considering that we're in this little area, you can see that there's actually um, this kind of uh, murky, murky brown and green ground that we're in right here. This is actually clay. Now you can spot clay quite easily on the map. If you look very carefully, you'll see these little blobs of brown on the map in between uh, like all the green. Uh, the snow biome that also has clay, but it's a little bit uh, deeper under the ground. You have to actually dig out the snow before you can actually get to it. But right here, there is actually some clay readily available. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Go ahead and start digging it. Unfortunately, the stone axe doesn't make the best tool for digging it. I mean, it does okay, but it's only doing five damage per shot. So what we want to do is make a better tool. Fortunately for us, we can make ourselves a stone shovel. So let's go ahead and do that because we're going to need a lot of clay to do what we want, which is going to be including getting a forge up together. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that started. Here we go. So let's start digging this now. And you can see that that does 30 damage per shot. So it's six times more effective. So much better. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, I think, and we're going to try and get about maybe five blocks of this. And that should be enough. I just want to aim to get about 100 clay, and I think we're getting about 20 per, 20 per block. It looks like it. How many have we got here? I have 64. So yeah, about, about 20, 21 per, per block. So that's not bad. Let's go ahead and do these last two. And that should give me about 100 clay to use as I need to. That's that one, and then we'll do... Let's do this one right here. I'm being lazy, considering I'm like standing on it. Let's do this one. And you can see the shovel does use a little bit more stamina than the stone axe as well. So that's another reason why I wanted to purchase the stamina perk, just to make it a little bit easier for me um, on the stamina when I'm going ahead to dig that clay. All right, so let's see. I've got 43 iron, some lead, some good stuff. Right, so I think we're pretty good now. So the next thing we got to do is go ahead and locate the trader. That's the next quest. So let's go ahead and start making our way over to him because it seems he's kind of close. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's literally just over the other side of this little path road here. So let's go ahead and start making our way along to Mr. Trader because uh, the traders can also sometimes have uh, forges and things as well. And if they do and they're in working condition, we can use those before we go ahead and make our own ones, which is going to be really, really handy. So let's start heading along this way. Now, maybe we'll come across some zombies. So one thing I want to do is I kind of want to walk slowly through the area because I want to listen out for animals as well. Because if there are any animals in the region, I want to be able to know where they are and then be able to hunt them a little bit later on. So let's just go carefully through the region and see if we can find uh, anything good. So we're going to go down this way and then head up to the northwest over here. Now, you'll have noticed that I stayed in one particular region when I spawned. I didn't actually venture that far out. Now, the main reason for that is when you spawn in the game for the first time on day one, you get spawn protection. So for the first few hours, as long as you stay in one area, the zombies won't actually spawn on you, which is a nice little feature because it gives you a little bit of time to actually get set up. And I see a bag over here. What is in this bag? Anything good? Oh, some water. Very nice. So we now have two bottles of water. That is awesome. So it looks like there's more forest over here. You may have also seen there's these little uh, red plants as well uh, hanging around. Those are um, chrysanthemum flowers, and you can use those to make red tea, which actually cools you down. And it looks like there is something off in that direction as well. So I want to see what that is a little bit later on. Looks like it could potentially be a town, which would be very handy if it is. So let's head over this way then, and start getting these trees out of the way as well. The other thing I'm going to do is actually prepare some medical supplies as well. So this cotton, we can actually craft it into cloth at a rate of two to one. So two cotton gives you uh, one cloth. Let's get one more piece of cotton from here. So I got a nice even number, and then we can go ahead and do some cloth fragments. There we go. So we can get 17 of those, and we can use those to craft bandages. Because right now we only have one bandage. We have a, There's two types of bandages. There's a regular one, and there's a first aid one. The first aid one, which is what we have, will actually uh, restore your health a little bit as well as stop bleeding. The regular one, though, only stops bleeding. But that can be useful in a situation where you may have a pain pill and uh, you have a regular bandage. So, yeah, there's uh, to, to each their own. Let's see if we can get an even number of uh, cotton as we go through this region. Six, that'll do. I can craft three more of those in. There you go. And more wood, please. Let's grab that. And uh, let's uh, pick up all the resources we get. The more small stones as well is going to be handy. 
Uh, was that a bird's nest there? No. Okay. So yeah, as I said, bird's nest I find really, really hard to spot um, due to uh, how blind I am in real life, but that's fine. I guess it would simulate what I'd be like in a zombie apocalypse. I, I would suck. <laughs> so I'd, I'd be bad. So let's go this way. And see. Right, do I see Mr. Trader yet? I don't see Mr. Trader yet. Let's, uh, let's step on it a little bit. Because time is getting on. It's already 11.05, so... We are burning daylight, guys. We're burning daylight. Okay. I think we got a snowbrew from that as well. Not bad. Okay. Not hearing many animals in the region anyway. So, looks like there is... Yeah, looks like there's like a house here or something. So, oh, and here we go, guys. Our first zombie. There he is. Let's go ahead and melee this guy. Now, melee, you can do it in two ways. You can run in and attack and then run backwards. Or you can run in and attack and sort of... Uh, cut through like you would like imagine like a knife cutting through something you can do it that way as well now this guy's walking away from me however there has been another zombie that has swatted me now this guy's a crawler he can break your legs so be careful you want to duck down to be able to get this guy so let's whack him in the head and back away a crawler is probably the easiest zombie to kill if you can get some consistent headshots on him there we go and we even slapped his head. That was awesome. He had nothing on him there. Right, here comes the other zombie. And I can show you how to melee with standing on. So we're going to walk back at his pace. We're going to wait. Stamina's are full. Go in. Give him a whack. And back and uh, get the hell back out of there. Because you can see that sometimes they don't always get stunned. Sometimes they do, though. But not all the time. So that time he got a bit stunned and staggered. But they don't do that all the time. So you can't rely on that. So don't just like stand there and expect to hit him a few times. And uh, knock him down. See, that time he didn't even get staggered. So let's see if we can knock him down. Now, if we can knock him down, he will take uh, three times damage. That was close. There we go. So now we've knocked him down. He'll take three times stun damage. And there we go. We've killed our second zombie. That is awesome. He only had plastics. I don't know, so I'm not really too worried about that. Okay. So there we go, guys. Two zombies. We even got... Uh, our first zombie kill was a head splatter. That's... Uh, I, 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 I see good things from this, guys. I, I see good signs. Alrighty then, so it looks like we have found the trader. So, oh, there's a lady though. This trader really should employ some snipers or something to keep these to keep these zombies away. Right, the lady zombies aren't so so tough to take down. The males are tougher. The lady zombies aren't as bad though. So let's go and see if we can take her down. There we go. We've knocked her down. A couple of whacks of the face should sort her out. There you go. What have you got for me, lady? Nothing great. Okay, let's make our way inside this trader. Hopefully, there's going to be no more zombies around the area. But there we go. We've gone ahead and found the trader. And I believe that's also given us some more skill points. So let's go and uh, have a check here. It has. We've actually got five more skill points to spend. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself, I think, um, a mining perk for when we get iron tools. This is minor 69er. Essentially, what this will do is when you use mining tools, you'll use less stamina. And you'll also do more damage when using said tools, which is uh, pretty cool. Right. So did I run straight past the entrance? Um, no. Hang on. Where is, where's the way into this place? I will find it. No, wait, that's his house. So it should be round... Yeah, it should be the side. I think I ran straight past it. Um, or did I? Where's the way in? Oi, trader. Where's your way in? Oh, I'm such a plank. It was this side the entire time. Right, come on then. Let's get inside here. Right, I wonder if this guy's going to be a nice guy. Let's have a look. And actually, let's shut this door as well. Stop those zombies getting in. Alrighty, so let's go into Mr. Traders. I'm going to take that as well, the source of light, and uh, let's see what he's got. So, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey! Time is money, and I'll wager you don't have any. Um, no, you're absolutely correct. I have no money. I have no money. It sucks. So let's see what uh, stuff he's actually got. He's got a uh, hunting knife, which is actually... Gonna... Oh, I think we should try and get that hunting knife if we can. Because um, that's going to be super useful if we can get that. So I don't know if we can sell this cloth to him for much. It only sells for one. So we're going to need to get a lot of cloth together if we want to do that. Carriage chili sells for four. Water sells for six. Lead does sell for some. Let's sell some of the lead to him. At least uh, start our economy off a bit. That only sells for two, though, so that's kind of bad. Uh, is there any other good stuff? Goldenrod, per five, sells for two. Again, not that great. Bedroll, no sell price. Damn. Clay, uh, more more no sell price. Oh, stone, sell price one for 50. Oh, wow, so we only get three for that much stone. That's bad. Okay, let's uh, check some other items as well. So he's got some pretty good stuff. He's even got a machete as well, but we're not going to be able to afford that, unfortunately. Um, no way at this at this point in the game. So not really too much there. He's even selling uh, snow wreaths. I wonder, can we sell him ours? Uh, it gets us two per five. 
So for that, we're only going to get 18. So again, not really worth it. His secret stash also has some other items in there. It looks like mainly schematics and a couple of uh, armor pieces. He's even got a shotgun in there as well, which is pretty much... No, we would not, but I I sense intimidation in your voice, kind sir. All right, let's go over this way then, and let's see um, what we've got here. So we've got a cement mixer, which is actually destroyed. So let's see if there's anything good in there. Unfortunately not. This workbench, unfortunately, is also destroyed. Damn it. And there's nothing in it either. Sometimes, though, they do have some good stuff in. So let's go around and see if we can find anything. There's Oh, there's a gas barrel there. We can sell that back to him. Ah, but the forge is working. That's perfect. So let's go ahead and put that in there, and we're going to put half of the amount of clay... In there, so 43, and then 21 clay. Actually, let's do 42 and 21, and that should give me enough um, to get started with some forged iron, and we can get our first iron tool. So let's go ahead and get that started, and we can get that melting up in the forge. Let's have another look around this place and see what else we can find. There's some uh, lockers here as well, so maybe we can actually sell these clothes back to him. He seemed like a bit of a nasty piece of work, so you know what, we're going to do that. We're going to nick his stuff and sell it to him, and he'll think it's ours, because he's not hes not really paid attention. So, you know, sucks for him. Let's see what we've got here. We've got, uh, search the sink. Can we get a wrench? Nope, nothing there. I hear more zombies outside as well. A can. Now, before you get a cooking pot, always keep empty cans. They are very useful to keep, keep a hold of, because you can fill them with water, and you can boil water up in those, and at least until you get the pot, in which case they become completely redundant. Okay. Grab these. Okay, is there any other good stuff in here? There's... Oh, there's a stairwell over here. Okay, let's go up the stairs. See if he's got anything good up here. Oh, there's a chemistry station. Oh, this works too. Nice. So we've got a working forge and a working chemistry station. That is really handy. I'm uh, I'm liking this. Anything good out here? Nope. Nope. Okay, I think, that's, uh, I think that's all that he has in this little place here. So let's get back down here. And let's sell him some of that other stuff that we managed to get. There's also some uh, junk and stuff around here as well. So let's have a little bit of a search around uh, in the junk. Hang on, did we go in this way? Yeah, we did. We went in there. Okay. So there's a zombie out there, but let's search in this junk. Um, oh, some brass and some pain pills. The pain pills I want to keep for medical stuff. Campfire. Um, didn't have anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell him what we got. There we go. Right, come on then. You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? Nope. Okay, let's go and sell him this stuff here. So you can have this, you can have this. He's not buying it for much, but it's better than nothing, right? Uh, he even buys chairs for two, two a pop, so let's go and you can have them. Um, brass trophy he actually buys for eight, so not bad for that one. And nine for the lead trophy. And we can sell him this one. And I can sell this one. So you can sell him all these clothes and stuff. We don't really uh, want to keep hold of those. This, though, should get us a lot. There you go, 107 for that. That's awesome. So how much have I made so far? 160. Not bad. So we've uh, done done well for our initial trading. Um, let's get the clay all back together as well. And uh, pain pills sell for 18 as well. But I don't really want to go ahead and uh, I don't really want to go ahead and sell them pain pills because those would be more useful um, Shit, at, man. for us. I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking tip me. Eat that. Right. So, it looks like then we should be able to get stuff started from this trailer. So, uh, oh, here's got some more junk here as well. What have we got in here? Bullet casing. I'll scrap that for some spare brass, because uh, that'll be useful for that. Okay, let's go back to the forge then, and let's see what melted up here. Let's go and half that stuck there, and let's put some wood in here. There you go. So, the wood can go in there. Let's half that. So, it's 12.34. So, we're burning daylight, guys. It's already past midday. So five hours have gone already, but we can start crafting forged iron, which is awesome. Let's go and do that. There we go. So we can get 16 forged iron out of there. The first tool I want to get, I think, is a pickaxe. So we need an iron pickaxe, which requires 20. While we're waiting, though, let's go and deal with those zombies outside. Because maybe they'll have some decent loot for us. And maybe we can get lucky. Okay. Right. Hey, lady. 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 I'm over here. Come on. Right, you missed. And again. Come on, then. Yeah, she's not liking that. Oi! There you go. You get down. And you eat that. Gotcha. And she has some moldy bread, which I'm going to keep because that's actually pretty useful. Um, okay. So I don't know if there's any, like, towns or anything around the area that we can uh, venture to. But I did see... Um, I did see what looked like a pathway. Um... So from the trader, there's one that goes through the snowbine, but there's one that goes the other way. So maybe there will be a town around this uh, this area somewhere. 
but I'd be interested to see if there is. It looks like there's a desert biome over that way. Let's kind of walk out this way a little bit, just have a, a little bit of a, a walk around and see if we can see anything else. Did I pick up a chrysanthemum? I did. I'm going to drop that. Taking up one too many slots in my inventory. Let's have a look up there. Oh, hang on. Oh, that, that looks like there's a big building over there, guys. That looks like a big building. Okay, we're going to get our iron tool. So we're going to go back to the traders. Let me actually mark him on the map as well so I can set a waypoint. So to set a waypoint, you can just uh, right-click anywhere on the map and go save waypoint. And then I'm going to just mark uh, him here. And uh, I'm just going to call him Trader 1. There we go. Trader 1 is here. And you can actually make this uh, permanently visible as well. Um, you can always uh, say track waypoint. And you'll see a little tick there. And then his waypoint will then always be visible to you on the map. Which is really, really useful to bear in mind. Okay. So... Have we leveled up yet? I'm not even sure. We are... We level two? We are not. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to see if we'd level up so we can uh, purchase uh, better stuff, but that's okay. Because definitely an upgrade in tool and weaponsmithing is uh, the first thing on my list to do now that we've gone ahead and got ourselves... Um... Oh, first nest, hello. Um, now that we've got to get ahead and got ourselves the necessary stuff for the Minor 69er and the Stamina perk, next thing I want to do is definitely concentrate on more of the toolsmithing side of things. Okay, oh, I think I, uh, I think I attracted one. Where are you? Oh, it's a miner. Hello. Okay, let's give him a bit of a whack. Right, come on then. Right, our stamina's a bit low, so let's, uh, let's, uh, kind of, uh, toy with him for a little bit. Let's keep him, uh, keep him guessing. That's it, you follow me. Okay, there's a couple more coming as well. I can hear there's another one. Right, let's see if we can get this guy down. Right. That's it. I'm surprised he can actually feel any of that with his uh, mining helmet on. Right, come on. So we need to we need to get this guy down quickly before that other girl catches up. Okay. Blunt weapon skills going up. Right, quick, 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 quick. Got him. Right, he's gone. He's dealt with. Now he just had this putrid girl to deal with. Putrid girl. Now I'm gonna smash you in the face. Putrid girl. Now you're falling, lying on the ground. Putrid girl! Gotcha! Okay, did he have anything good on him? Let's see. Mining helmet, come on! Sometimes they have him. Oh, he didn't have one. I was, I was hoping that he was going to have one, but, but no. Unfortunately, he did not. All right. Back to the traders. And let's see if we can go ahead and get ourselves... Oh, I know what we can do, actually. We can uh, actually harvest some of this corn as well. Because I, I know it belongs to him, but they don't actually do anything if you harvest their stuff. So... I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But we can't destroy it, unfortunately. I can't I can't make him starve, that sucks. Okay, so more forged iron can be done out of this as well. Let's go ahead and get that uh, melted up. So I've got five more to do, and then I'll have 21. And that'll give me enough to build a pickaxe plus a piece of forged iron to repair it later on as well. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have to wait for this to uh, get done as well. Let's go ahead and eat this as well, because I'm probably getting a little bit hungry at this point in the day. There we go. So now we've got ahead and eaten that. And we now have a little bit of extra room in our inventory as well. There we go. So once we got 20, I can go ahead and craft my tool. I'm going to wait till I level up before I craft the tool, though. Um, and I think we're going to go ahead and venture to that other town. And then one more, and that should do us fine. There we go. Awesome. So now I can go ahead and uh, craft up a pickaxe when I'm ready. Because that's the first tool I want to craft is a pickaxe. But we're definitely going to come back to that trader and see if we can go ahead and uh, buy a hunting knife from him. Because that will make uh, harvesting from animals much better than a bone shiv. And speaking of bone shivs, actually, uh, those zombies that I killed out here, see if I can find them again. We're going to actually chop their bodies up and see if we can get a shiv out of them. There we go. We got a bone and we even got some fat. That's good. Let's go ahead and turn that into a shiv so we can go at recipes and then craft a bone shiv from there. There we go. Let's also get some more arrows as well. 15 of those is going to be plenty. There we go. All right. Everything's looking good. So we've got ourselves a bone shiv as well. And that's going to be our primary hunting tool. So if we go ahead and kill an animal, we're going to slice it out with a bone shiv. But the hunting knife will get you twice as much as the shiv. So definitely worth upgrading to a hunting knife ASAP. Trust me, you get a lot more meat out of the animals. Okay. So let's head north. So I did see... Where was that? Um, I'm not sure where that thing was that I saw. So the snow biome is... Snow biome is that way. I think I saw it over over this way. Oh, there's a... Looks like a cheerleader after me. Hey! She's not looking so cheery, though. 
You're not doing a good job. Come on, you, you got the outfit. Oh, it took our face off. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, why don't we wear those? Uh, that could be useful, and we can scrap these. And then we can wear some better shoes as well. And scrap our other plant fiber gear. There we go. Man, yeah, she's not looking. Uh, she's not looking too cheery for a cheerleader, is she? I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, who's hiring these people? Okay. Let's go over this way. I did see a big building somewhere out here. I want to see if I can find it again. Or what looked like a big building, anyway. Ooh, have I got? Uh, have I got Mr. Angry after me? Oh, it's a cowboy. Hey. Oh. Go on then. Let's deal with this guy. Okay, the cowboys are a little bit tougher, but sometimes they can drop uh, magnum parts and things. Whoa! Okay. Come on then, let's get him down. God, this this one is really tough, right? Come on then. We got you. And we level up! Yay! And three water, look at that. And a bullet casing. Alright, so now we can go ahead and craft, um, or sorry, not craft, purchase toolsmithing and weaponsmithing. There we go. Six points straight away. And let's go ahead and make ourselves our first pickaxe. Hooray! That'll definitely help us harvest resources a little bit faster. That is awesome. Right. See, where did I see that building? It's really hard to see through the uh, all these trees and stuff. Ooh! Stump, 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 stump. Guys, look, I found a lovely stump. What are we going to find inside the stump? I open it up and I find an empty can. Why does anyone leave an empty can inside the stump? That's really weird. Okay. See, where was that big building? I want to see. So that's the uh, that's the trader's place there. It definitely wasn't that way. That's the snowy area. Was it over this way? I definitely saw something that I want to try and uh, I want to try and investigate. So let's go over this way. Maybe we'll find something out here. Because I think we're done with the traders for now. Ideally, I want to find some big buildings and see if we can get some leather to then go ahead and make our own forges. That would be super handy. But we'll see. Oh, hang on. Is this over here? Looks like a desert area over here. Oh, um, lady, um, I think you forgot to put your clothes on this morning. Oh, oh, wait, you're meant to be like that. Okay, okay, I get you. Well, they won't call the fun pimps for anything. Right, come on then. Let's see if we can get her down. Okay, she's taking a bit of a beat in this one. Okay, wow. Nothing's getting you down, is it? Oh, back away. Okay, don't let me, don't let myself get cornered. Okay, God, she's really going for it today. Look at this girl. Okay, I think I'm hitting her arms. Oh, there we go. We got her. We got her. Come on, come on, come on. And again, and again, and again, and again. Quick, get down. Yes. Destroyed the stripper, and you had a piece of glass on you. Oh dear. Why, why are you carrying glass on you, lady? What are you, what are you doing? Um. Okay. See, I think it was over this way. There was, there was definitely some kind of building out here that I did see. Maybe I should get out of the... Uh... Oh yeah, there's a desert over there by the looks of things. I think the desert is a place I want to go to next as well. Um, that would be, be a good place to go. So let's go over there. Okay, I mean, I could follow the uh, the pathways, but I have more fun just going along and exploring out. Let's jump on this rock as well to get a bit of a better view of the surroundings here. So I see a road over there as well by the looks of things. So I think if we go down here, we might find something. Okay. Is that business I just stepped on? Um, no. Okay. It's a stone there, though. Let's grab that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I think I'm going. I think I'm going around the big circle. Almost. Okay. But I definitely said. Ah, here we go. Yes, I knew I saw something over here. Oh wow, guys! Oh wow, this place looks pretty big. Oh wow. I think. Oh my guys! Oh my god! Look at the size of this place! <gasps> Guys, I, I found a city! Oh my god! My first town is a city! That is awesome! Okay. Guys, we are going there. We are going to the city. Right, let's go ahead and uh, grab some aloe and yucca from the desert as well. So the desert is a really good place. And if you spawn here, don't worry. Because there's plenty of stuff that can actually uh, help you stay alive out in the desert. You can actually grab these uh, yucca plants here. And you can also go ahead and chop up these cacti. And they'll give you yucca fruit as well. And what you can do with yucca fruit is you can either eat them for a source of food. Or you can actually create yucca juice with them as well. So very, very useful stuff to keep in mind. Um, oh man, I can't believe that. That is so good. And now we've got our pickaxe. Let's actually go ahead and harvest this uh, small stone here. And you can see we're actually getting quite a lot out of this one. So that's really cool. I can't believe that, guys. We found a whole city. That is amazing. 
Man, we we got lucky. We got lucky with that. We got very lucky with that. I think I see some nitrate over there as well. That little uh, that little uh, resource vein sticking out the ground there. Um, okay. I'm not gonna craft any more arrows for now because I don't um, I don't particularly need them. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves a yucca juice though because these are good for raising your stamina. So let's go and drink one of these. And yucca juice will give you a good boost in stamina. So let's go and to recipes here. Yucca juice and eating yucca fruit themselves can also give you um, a stamina boost as well. So both of these things are very useful to keep. Okay, so that should be uh, ready anytime now. There we go. So 62% uh, fed, which is not bad. Let's go ahead and uh, start chopping up this rock. I can't believe this, guys. We found a city. I mean, I've seen a load of towns, but I've never seen one like that. In all honesty, I've never seen so many skyscrapers in one place. That is awesome. Okay, so yucca juice should be ready. Let's drink that. And that'll give me a bit of a stamina boost. Look at that! Nice. That gave me uh that got me up to the 70s almost. So we're gonna harvest this to get a little bit more iron as well, just so we can go ahead and uh, use that in the forge later on. There we go. Now let's uh, explore this desert a little bit. Let's actually repair this axe as well. Um so hit the A key. There we go. Let's repair that and then let's keep going. And see what we can grab here. Okay. So let's grab this. I think I see another bird's nest there that I didn't search. Yeah, here we go. There's one there. Nice. 19 feathers. Very nice. And another one. Oh, there's three in a row. Look at that. 18. Oh, wow. We're getting lucky with this. And this one. And we didn't search that one either. Nice. And another 13. Nice. And a fourth one. Wow. What have you got? You got 23. Oh, wow. We are rolling in the feathers now. Okay, so uh, there's also these plants here, which are aloe vera. And aloe vera you can actually use in conjunction with cloth to make some more of those first aid bandages, just like the one you get at the start of the game. So another way to make some really good healing items is to go and get some of this aloe. Now, if you don't happen to have cloth on you, you can also make aloe cream and apply it directly to yourself as well. And that will actually give you a little bit of a boost in health as well. So definitely, uh, if you don't, um, don't, don't necessarily think that you have to have cloth to make aloe useful, you can actually apply aloe cream to yourself directly as well. Okay. Oh man, this town is this town is huge. Okay, let's go uh, over this way. Let's grab this one from here, and let's see what we can get. Right, there's a zombie over here. Come on, then, lady. If you want to pick a fight with me? Come on, then. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Whoa! No, you don't. There you go. You get down. A bit of lag there. And one more. There you go. What do we got here? Nothing on the lady. God, you ladies. Never have anything for me, do you? Okay, let's get more yucca fruit from here as well. So yeah, we're going to want to collect a good amount of this. If we can get a stack, that'd be great. Now, it takes four um, four aloe vera plants to make the aloe cream. So try and collect as much of that as you can if you happen to be around the desert area as you're walking through. Okay, uh, lady, you forgot your clothes too. I, okay, I, I, I understand with you because it's hot in the desert. So, you know. Oh, I hear a vulture too. I definitely hear a vulture somewhere. I want to see where that vulture is. Okay, there's definitely a vulture here. I heard it. If we can find it, that's more feathers for us. Haha! -ha. So uh, go carefully around here. I'm sure we'll see the vulture flying somewhere. Yeah, he's kind of close. Right, come on, lady. God, these ladies are actually pretty tough. Right, there we go. We got gotcha. you. One more. Wow. Gotcha. There you go. What have you got for me? Oh, some more feathers. Look at that. And we got some money as well. Oh, money we can take to the traders as well. That's going to be useful. Right. There was a vulture here. I don't know where he is. But I heard one. Now, I don't know if I want to go ahead and try and kill it for feathers. I think right now it might be a waste of our time. So we're going to go ahead. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and move straight on. So yeah, let's, let's investigate this town, guys. Look at the size of this place, though. Honestly, look at the size of this town. Oh, there's even other little houses around the edge as well. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, there's a snake coming towards me. I heard. I think I aggroed it. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get out of here. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to fight that snake. You can take it out with like one bow shot, I think. Um, so it's, they're not like hard to kill. But anything that can deal damage to me right now, I kind of want to stay away from. Okay. So there's a lady over here. Right, come on, then, lady. Come on. Then. Right, we can get her out of the way at least. There you go. There you go. We got you. We got you. There you go. Okay. Quick. 
gotcha. There you go. What have you got for me? Oh, some canned food. Let's eat that. Keep that out of the way of it. Okay. Let's go and grab these aloe veras as well. So I think we've got six so far, have we not? Yeah, six. Okay. Don't okay on the aloes. They're not so common, but you can uh, you can find them pretty much all over the place here. So it doesn't really matter so much. All right. Well, guys, here. Here is the big town. So let's have a look through here and see if we can find anything good. A bird's nest straight off the bat is a good thing. So let's go and uh, grab that. And let's see what we can find in this place. Okay, so there's a few little houses on the edge here. Um, is it all in the desert or is there any other any other biomes on this place? Let's have a look. Let's look at the small area first just to see if there's any little little places we can go. It looks like this is like a residential area. Let's have a little look down here. See what we can find, shall we? Check on the map here. Yeah, this town looks pretty big. Um, I don't think it goes into another biome. I don't see any other biomes around the area. So I think this is actually a complete desert town, which is pretty cool. A, de a desert city, even. Okay. Let's go in here. Come on, then, you. Oi! There you go. You get down. Right, we got you. There we go. Right, so nothing on that lady. Okay, you know what? What we should do is, uh, I think now that we're in this town, we should look for a place that is going to have leather. Oh, I hear, I hear a vulture somewhere. Where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Just back up, right? He's going to try and dive on me, isn't he? Right. Oh, there's two vultures, right? Okay. You dive on me? Okay, he's, he's, he's being weird about it. Okay. Okay. Oh, you little sneaky bugger. Okay. Now, I want to be careful of these things, because they can infect you immediately. Okay. So he's just flapping around there. Let's let, let's let him flap about. Oh, my club broke. Not good. Not good. Okay. Uh, new one. Quickly, quickly, quick, 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 quick. Club. Craft. Whoa. Okay, don't you whack me. Don't you whack me, nurse. Don't you dare. Right. We got you. There we go. Uh, that vulture's still kind of flapping around in circles, so... I think I I think we have confused him. What have you got? Money as well and a splint. Okay. Yeah, definitely need a place to store this stuff. Right, here's Mr. Vulture. Let's see if we can uh see if we can uh, have a bit of an attack on this guy. Okay. Whoa! Okay, yeah, he's he's going for me there. Right, here we go. Unfortunately now there's another zombie after me. I don't know if it's worth my time just trying to kill this guy. I'm probably gonna end up getting more hurt than I would do if I just ignored it and get in the house somewhere. But to be fair, once the vulture locks onto you, it just doesn't leave you alone, so... Go and see if he can come down here. Oh, he got me. Ouch! Okay, that hurt. I think we had a pain pill, though, so we can use that in a minute. Okay, little bugger. Make sure we don't get stunned by this lady as well. So now we got two enemies to deal with at once. Uh, did you just fly in the house? Oh, no, he's there. I thought he flew in the house. Okay. There you go, you eat that. Oh, he's not he's not happy with me, is he? Listen to him. Right. Go on, you oversized chicken. Where are you going? Right. Oh, now you're coming. You're trying to, trying to sneak attack me, are you? No, sir. You do not do that, do you? Right, come on, lady. Let's get it down. Right, lady, nothing. Right, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Right. Go on, then. You just going to fly around there all day? Nah, come on. I'm over here. Let me guess. Right, you're dive bombing me again. Gotcha, you little bugger. Right, that'll, that'll teach you to mess with me, won't it? Right, let's get our shiv out, and then we can go ahead and harvest this guy and get a load of feathers out of him. Because that, my friends, is going to be awesome. So there we go. That's how we take down the vulture with uh, minimal damage. So let's go and use those pain pills as well. And let's go ahead and drink some water as well. There you go. Nice. So that should be fine. Okay. So let's have a look down this little uh, residential area from the town. I just want to see what's down here. Because there could be some good stuff here. Maybe. We'll see. So it looks like a little water tower. But yeah, oh, there's de there's definitely a big city up there. Look at that. So it looks like there's it looks like there's a couple of skyscrapers. So yeah, there's a big one over there. And there's a building site right there, which is really, really cool. Wow. This, this place is amazing. Okay, let's have a look down here. What have we got over here? So it looks like... Oh no, it looks like... Is that a forest part? Okay, it looks like this part of the town might be in a forest. So this is like a dead end area. Okay, no, it's not quite in the forest. It's near to a forest though. But it's not quite in there. Okay. Oh no, no, it looks like there is actually a little bit that does go in the forest as well. There's actually a water source there I can see as well. Look at that, like uh, a little a little thingy right there. Alright, okay. 
So I think what we're going to do is we're probably going to go and settle in a house in the forest biome just because it's going to be a little bit more manageable in uh, terms of living conditions. So we'll go over there. Because then at least we won't have like vultures all over the shop trying to kill us as well. Because the desert is a good place that vultures can spawn. So if you're like short on feathers, you know, desert and plains, good things. Oh, I did not see you. Hello. Okay, we're probably kind of low on stamina right now. All right, come on then, mister. We can get you. Let's back up, back up, back up, back up. Right, come on then. Come on then. Come on, I freaking get you down. There you go. And again. One more. Oh. Wow. Yes! And we're level up. Nice. We're now level three. Let's go and see what uh, skill points we can go ahead and do. So level three, what should we do? What should we do? I think we should go and do... Let's do Pubble Pete as well. Knife Guy, though. No oh, Knife Guy eventually gets you harvest count increased. Hmm. Interesting. Let's do Pubble Pete for now, though. But yeah, if it increases harvest amount, then I think Knife Guy is definitely another skill that we want to be investing in as well. Because that will make it more efficient when we're hunting. So that can be pretty useful. All right. So what have we got down here? So is this the edge of a the town then? Let's have a look down here. Where is this area going? Okay, it looks like no, it looks like there's a few more houses down here. So oh my god, this place is huge. It looks like it's a town on an Yeah, there's a, oh there's a diner over here as well. Hang on, no wait, this is a dead end area. Okay. There's a burnt down building there. Okay, let's run let's run through this bit. Wow, this place looks really cool. Some big towns here. Look at that. Okay, so what's down here? Okay, is that, a, is that a diner place or is that a caravan? Oh, that might be a caravan, actually. Okay, I think that's a caravan. Okay. Little trailer. Yeah, that's a trailer. I thought it was like a diner place or something. Okay, there's a, there's a couple of these trailers here, actually. Okay. A couple around here. What have we got over here? Random, like, bit in the road there. Okay, I think we're going to have to try and find someone to call home. Um, but let's go and take care of this lady first. Before she uh, gets an advantage on me. Come on, then, you. There you go. You get down. And what did you have? A can of peas. Let's eat that. Because I, I need someone to go and store some stuff. So you know what? Let's uh, let's raid this building. Right. Well, I, th I think we're ready. I think we'll be okay. Let's, uh, let's get inside here. Now, there's going to be sleepers in this place. So we're going to have to be very careful as we go in. But we're going to have to clear out this building. And I think if we can clear this one out and raid it, that's going to be awesome. Okay. Alrighty. Let's uh, sneak in. Right. Always look. Like, right to the sides. Right, there's a sleeper straight over there. Um, right. Okay, she's not waking up. Let's see if we can raid this bag real quick. Anything good in there? Um, oh, an iron reinforced club. I will take that. Okay, let me uh, back out of here a sec. Um, just to the sides. Now, uh, let's go ahead and scrap that wooden club. And let's go and equip the iron reinforced one. Because if we can use that, I think we can repair that as well. Uh, if, I, if I scrap a couple of those... I should be able to then repair that with some of this. Um, what does that say to repair? Uh, repair material, iron. Okay, maybe I need some more iron. Okay. Um, hmm. That makes it a little bit difficult now because I know where to put it. Okay, you know what? Solid. It's, uh, no, actually, no, I want to keep the burning barrel. Rotten flesh. We don't need that. There you go. You can go. Right. Let's uh, scrap this. See if we can repair that with some forged iron now. Now can we repair it? Let's have a look. There you go. We can repair it now. You can drop out of there. And then let's go and repair that guy. And then we should have a pretty good iron club. There we go. So this will do a little bit more damage than the wooden one. So that's going to be a little bit of an improvement. Okay. Here we go. Right, there's another zombie over there. But let's uh, let's go careful here. Right. This lady's got to go first. <laughs> okay. Got a hit. Okay. We're sneaking. Okay. Now she knows where I am. Let's fight her. Knocked her down. Right. Duck down again. And smash. Oh, that took the head straight off. What a good shot. What have you got for me anyway? Nothing. Of course. Yeah, useless. Right. Is there anyone in this room? Let's go very carefully. Okay, no, this room is clear. Cool. Let's have a look, look in here. And we got a lead trophy. Don't really want that anyway. So that's fine. We can uh, we can take all the stuff apart in this building later on. But let's go ahead and see what we can find in here. I don't know if there's a lower floor to this building, but there might be, uh, I think there's an upper floor. This is actually, no, no, wait, this is actually the same building I used in Alpha 15. That is awesome. Uh, right, is there any sleepers in here? No, okay. Let's go and quickly loot this place if we can. I can? Okay, we'll keep that. Anything good in the oven? Cooking pot, maybe? Oh, a cooking grill! That'll, uh, that'll do. Good start. Okay, 
Wrench in the sink, wrench in the sink, wrench in the sink, wrench in the sink. Oh, just a jar. Never mind. I was hoping for one. Uh, nope, none there. Okay. Oh, did we do the top covers? No, we didn't. Let's quickly do that as well. Oh, water. I will take that. Always keep an eye out there because I haven't searched that room yet. So if anything's going to come in, it's going to be uh, from in there. All right. <sighs> this room. Right. So there is two ways we can go. There's an upstairs and a downstairs. Hmm. I think we should do... Let's not loot this room first because there's like more than one option for zombies to get to us. Let's do the downstairs first. Right. Let's go down here. Right. Let's be very cautious. Ooh. Okay, it looks okay. It looks clear for now. This room looks okay. Right. Let's go and look in here. What have we got? A skirt and a hat. So, stuff for scrapping. There we go. And how about you? You have got some more cloth. I will take. Now, let's see what's in here. Right. What's in here? What's in here? Right. Is there going to be sleepers in here? Let's, uh... Oh, there's a, there is a nurse in there. She's coming. She's coming. Okay. Here she is. Right. She's kind of just walking. <laughs> See if we can do that and get a headshot on her. Because they, they do post their head through the thing. See if we can, like... If we can turn her into a crawler, that'd be useful. There we go. Got a, I think we're getting a couple of hits on her. There we go. Come on, then, you. If I can knock a leg off, that'd be handy. But, yeah, they're not attacking the door. Okay, there we go. We knocked her down. Right, quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Get on the body. A few shots on the body. Go on, we can do it. Okay, come on. Gotcha. Whoa, there's another one there. Okay, I slipped the nurse. Okay, it doesn't seem like those zombies can get through the door, which is quite funny. Um, let's go ahead and... I'll just scrap that for now for cloth. Okay, let's uh, let's let her back out. Okay, she's not, she's not happy that I'm going for her arm. Okay. Come on, let, let, let me let you out. Get your arm out of the way. Right. Okay. Back, 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 back. Okay. We're good. Come on, then. Okay. Whoa, that was close. Come on, lady. Got to fight him in close quarters combat. Come on, then. Oh. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. That's not good. Right. Let's uh, back up. Oh, there's two. There's two. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, there's three. Okay. New plan. Let's get upstairs. Recoup stamina. Let's get up here. Okay. We can take him on. Right, are they still after me? No, I'm undetected now. Okay, so she got a bit of a, a bit of a whack on me. Right. Let's uh, look carefully where we're going. Right, okay, so there's a few There's a few down here. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, got him down. Right, quick, quick, quick. Come on. Okay, we got him. Oh, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Oh, we knocked her down. Oh, thank God. Thank God we knocked her down. Right, quick, quick, quick. Okay, there's more. There's more here. Okay, this is not good. First we got it with sleep. It's not going well. Oh. Okay, get out of the building. Just get out. Just get out. Just get out. Okay, we're going to have to... Uh, we need to recover a bit. Right. Now, now we're outside. We can take him on a bit easier. Well, that was close. Right, well, they, these chilies are pretty tough. Come on, you. Back away. Gotcha. Right, we got her down. Woo! Okay, what have we got in here? Okay, shot and fight. Okay, there's another sleeper over there. Okay, let's get back in here. Okay, is that all of them? I think there's one more upstairs. Okay. Okay. Right, is there any more down? Okay, there's one up there, I think. Is there any more down here? I think there was another one in here. Let's go very carefully, very quietly. Mm. Nope. Okay, I think... Okay, we're good there. That door's still locked, so I think there might be a sleeper in there. Let's have a look here. Oh, one of those. Okay, let's use that, considering we got one. That'll heal us up a bit. Okay, that was that was a close run-in. Wow. Goddamn stun. Okay, let's go and uh, scrap those. Take those. Um, oh, we can't, uh, can't scrap anything? Oh, that's because of iron... Okay, solve that. Okay, yeah, we need somewhere to store our stuff. Okay, let's go. You yeah, know what? This this area actually will be quite good. There's a, actually a chest right there. Let's actually dump our stuff in here. Drop it all off. Um, it's not a big chest though, so we're gonna have to go ahead and sort that out later. But for now, let's go and drop all that in there. Okay, that's now completely full. All right, 
Um, right, is there any useful items I should take and keep with me? Yes, this, this, and this, and these, and these. Actually, let's go ahead and do recipes, aloe cream. Let's go and grab those. Then we can make more of those bandages later. Or we can use them for a quick kill as well. So both both things very useful. Okay. So there's one more zombie up the top there, I think. Maybe more, but let's have a look and see. Let's go very careful. Because I think there is one up here. Now I think we're gonna need um we're gonna need the torch or something to see. So let's get up here. Whoa! Okay, she, oh, she's on fire. Oh, thank God for that. Thank God for that. Whoa. Okay, there's two of them up here. Whoa. Okay, hopefully that fire will, uh, hopefully that fire will kill. Okay. Wow, I need to be able to, need to be able to see. It's more, it's more so for you guys so that I can, so that you can both see. Right. Uh, put the torch there. Then we can, then we can see her a bit clearer. Right. Okay. Oh my God. This is crazy. Okay. One down. Okay, nurse is dead. Right, you. Yeah, fighting them in close quarters is not easy. Right, come on then. Whoa! No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Right, uh, work around, work around. Right, let's bring him to the light so you guys can see him a bit. Right, he's coming, he's coming. Here he is. Oi! Right, hopefully he's the last one. And then if we've got that... Yes, we got him. Paper. Nurse, did you have anything nice on you? No. Okay. Whew! Okay, we did it. Let's go ahead and put our bedroll down here. There we go. Right, bedroll. You can go uh, up here. No, okay, you require more block space. Okay, so the bedroll then we can put... Let's just put it like here or something. Okay. Um, can I make another torch? That'd be useful. Um, I need wood for that. Okay, let's go out downstairs because I think we got another... We've got another bit of wood down here that we can use to make a torch. So let's uh, grab all that stuff back. Make a torch. There we go. And then we can place a couple of those up there just to light up the area a little bit. But man, okay, we, we cleared it out. We cleared it. That's uh, that's a good start. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was, that was nuts. That was, that was awesome. Okay. So. We should now have a torch ready. Let's go and place this down as well. And then we're going to dump some stuff in the chest. And then we'll go and explore a little bit more of this town as well. So our bedroll's down, so that's uh, that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and put one over there. Just kind of light this area up a little bit. Let's make ourselves a new chest. So secure storage chest. Let's go and try our luck with that. There we go. And where'd you go? There you are. Actually, no, I don't want, I don't want you. I would like you. And let's go ahead and put a chest. Um, let's put like a chest here. Actually, let's make uh, let's make a few of these. Let's make like five of them, because that way we can uh, just organize our inventory really quickly as well. While we are here. So one, two, three, four. There we go. So I think in this one, we'll put pretty much any any raw materials we can chuck in there. So we'll, for example, like this stuff, that's all raw materials and stuff. So anything that we'd use like in a forge or stuff like that, that can go in there. Um, brass, cotton is raw materials as well. And so is plant fibers. There we go. Then we'll have uh, crafted items can go in this one. So stuff that has been crafted from something else can go in here. So for example, these. Uh, the forge iron is also one of the, one of those such items. Um, let's have a look. Anything else we've got in here? Nope. And then in this one we can have. I'd say in this one we could have uh, medical supplies. So we can put those in there. Um, that bandage would go in there, but right now I don't want it to go in there because I need it. Uh, so medical supplies number three. Uh, let's actually put our land claim block down as well, just so we can go ahead and put the forge down later when we get one. There we go. I love that. Dun, 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 dun. I love that. That's great. Um, okay, so then we have stuff for food. Actually, we can have a... I think we'll have a, a chest over here as well for with a campfire. So... I need uh, wood for that, though. Okay. Let's go and sort this out real quick. I, sh I shouldn't really be bothering with this now. Okay, you know what? The rest of the stuff can go in there. We can get the rest of it. Um, the rest of this can be uh, obtained later on. For now, that's going to be fine. We can get more stuff. Okay. And that can be scrapped as well. Okay. So building has been um, cleared. No more zombies here, I think. So we'll loot the rest of this building tonight and we'll start stripping it for resources. One thing I want to do, though, before it starts getting too dark, is let's go and have a look around the rest of this town. Because this town is huge and I want to see what else we can find over there. 
Because, I mean, look at the size of this place. It is, it is ginormous, guys. So maybe we can find a building that's going to have some leather. Because that's the other thing that we need for a forge. We need leather. And uh, we can go ahead and grab some of that, I think, if we are quick. So let's have a look over here, then. Let's go back through the desert. And let's uh, hopefully not die. Because we've taken, we've, we've, we've come into some really close shaves on this, uh, on this very first day, guys. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to push, I, I'm not one to push my luck too much. So, let's try and be a bit careful from now on. Okay. I wonder if we can find any, like, farms in this town as well. That'd be really handy. But, yeah, look at the size of this city, though. It is absolutely enormous. I love this. Okay. There's a couple of zombies over there. I don't really have time to go fight them, though. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move on somewhere else. Let's go... Let's go up this way. So I think the building site is somewhere around here as well. Um, maybe we can get a mining helmet if we take on some of the uh, some of the building site. I probably shouldn't do it in this first episode because I need to really get myself uh, settled. And Ah, maybe this place would be a good place to loot for uh, potential leather. Or actually, no, maybe, there'll be, maybe there would be some in this building here. Okay, you know what? We're going to do the first part of the skyscraper over here because maybe that'll have some leather in it for us. Let's go and loot this car real quick, just to see if there's anything good there. Um, oh, some gunpowder and some gas. Yeah, I'll take that. And Oh, this one actually might have some as well. I know one of these places has leather in them, but I don't know which one. I think this one might just have the cloth ones. Tell it. Yeah, only cloth in that one. Okay. Not worth it. Let's go in this one. All right. Okay, I think uh, I think I woke up a sleeper. <laughs> I don't think she liked her window being smashed, and, he's, and now she's uh, she's responding angrily by uh, smashing more windows. Yeah, <laughs> makes total sense. Right. Oh, there is leather right here. Look at that. Okay, let's uh, harvest some of this and hope that we don't wake up any zombies. But there is leather here. So let's keep an eye out on things here. See so yeah, if we can five shot those. My axe is gonna break anytime soon though. Okay, don't know if any one of them is following me in here. Okay, let's go grab these guys. Yeah, my axe definitely needs repair. So let's go out and find. Uh, let's go find a small stone of some description. Here we go. Got it. There we go. Small stone. Then we can repair this. Ha ha. Quality twenty one, but that's okay. Let's take care of this nurse as well because she's kind of uh, she's kind of close by. Hang on. Okay, come on, nurse. <laughs> There you go. We can get it down. Go on, then. Oi. There you go. Okay, we're running out of stamina there as well, so... Need to manage our stamina better. Okay. Let's back up a bit. I'm trying to kill them too quickly, I think. I'm not being patient, but it's because I'm rushing. Right, come on in, this. There you go. Got her. Right, there you go. We got her. Nice. Okay, so now we should be able to get the rest of that leather from that first floor. I don't know if there's any more, but we'll see. Um, glass. Nah, don't need that. Let's just search this junk as well. I'm searching for glue as well. That'll be very handy to, to grab if we can. Let's see what we have here. But yeah, I need 20 leather for this forge, so we're going to see how much we can get. Okay. So no more woken sleepers. I hope not. Okay, let me let my stamina recover a bit as well while we're just like having a look around. And let's just keep a very careful eye out for anyone that's going to be like dropping down on us. Okay. So we should be okay. Can I... Do I need to eat or drink anything? No, I have none anyway. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, friends. Let's uh, be very careful about this. And hopefully... We're going to be able to get around this building without attracting too much unwanted attention. Okay, so is there... Oh, is there a bag there? Oh, God, no, that's not a bag, that's a zombie. Whoa. Whoa, mister. Okay. Damn, I uh, did not see him. Is there any more in the, over this side? I just want to have a quick look, because it looks like... Uh, yeah, so for some reason, they're all sleeping in the plant pots. For some reason. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why, but okay. There is a zombie over here. I don't know if you can see me. Okay, it doesn't look like you can. There we go. We're getting we're getting sneak damage on them. That's that's useful. Oh, okay. It looks like it looks like he kind of knows where I am though. 
So that he d he does kind of GPS in on me in a in a way. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay. I need to stop him. What are you doing? Right. Are there any more sneaking up around here? No. Okay. Okay. We got him. Right. Quick. 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 Got him. Okay. There we go. Oh, one business like one business guy down. Okay, can we? Is this scrap for leather or for cloth? I don't know. That nah, only scraps for cloth. Damn. Okay, I was hoping for leather out of that. How much leather do I have though? I have. Okay, I have sixty. I only need four more, and then we can make a forge. Um, right. Let's just walk through here. Hopefully, there's no more little buggers following me. Okay, we're gonna go to the second floor and see if there's more leather up there. If there is, that's gonna be amazing. So let's uh, be very cautious. I don't know how many are here, but let's go and uh, make our way up here. Right, is there any more leather on this floor? Okay, there's a guy over there who does know where I am. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there's more leather here. There's more sleepers here too. Okay, let's kind of uh, try and jump around these guys. Man, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of these guys up here. Okay, let's try and kind of uh, distract them a bit, move them out. Okay, there's one over there. Right, go, go, go. Okay, quick, 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 get as much as we can. We just need 20 right there. That guy's coming, another guy's coming, quick. Okay, hop, okay. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Right, dodge him, dodge him. I think we've got enough. Do we have enough, do we have enough? Yes, we do. Right, let's get out of here. 20 leather, that's all we needed. That's all I wanted. Let's get out of here. We've got what we need. I'm not one to, uh, I'm not one to stay, outstay my welcome. So let's uh, let's get out of there. Okay, guys, we got the uh, we got the leather set up as well. That is awesome. Okay, so leather is ours. Good, good. Right, I think that's the building site there. Yeah, that's the building site. So yeah, we're we're kind of on the outcrop of town, which is really handy. So what we're gonna do, guys, I think we're gonna head back home, and then I'll be able to go ahead and uh, assemble the forge, and then we can go ahead and start doing some stuff there. But that's so cool. There's a building site here as well. So maybe we can go ahead and uh, try, eventually fighting in this area as well, just to see if we can get ourselves a uh, mining helmet. Because that would be very, very useful. Then I won't have to rely so much on torches. And then you guys won't have to see so many dark videos. Which means everybody wins, right? So that's going to be awesome. So let's get back over this way. Right, there's one guy coming this way. Right, come on, Mr. Skater. Yeah, sound is getting a bit low now. I don't know if the Iron Reinforced Club uses more stamina than the wooden one. It wouldn't surprise me because it's heavier. But very soon we're going to be getting something better than that anyway. So not to worry about that. Alrighty, let's head back to our home and we should get back inside. We can loot the place uh, at the start of the next episode. We'll do a bit of a night loot. I think that'd be pretty fun. Okay, we didn't manage to find any uh, good food though, which is a bit of a problem. But hopefully in the next episode, we'll have a bit better luck finding more. So we've got to go this way, I think. Let me see. I'm, I'm so lost in this town. It's so big. Um, that's what she said. Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh... Oh, hang on. There's a water source here. Does that have a bag inside? Yes, it does. What's in here? Anything good? Oh, there we go. Some uh, chicken rations. Eat that. Okay, what have you got? Nothing. Curse you, Mr. Trash Pile. Oh, man. But this is awesome, guys. We found it. We found like a huge city. I cannot wait to explore this in uh, the next episode and beyond. We're going to be here for ages, like doing these houses. But I think uh, a lot of the time we're going to be uh, we're going to be starting off small. So we're going to be doing a lot of these houses first, and then we're going to be working our way up to some bigger ones um, over time. But yeah, as you can see, my stamina runs out right now way too quickly. Uh, but we did level up. That's awesome, and we have seven skill points to spend. That is cool. What can we spend them on? Uh, can we get next level toolsmithing yet? Um, not yet. Okay. Can we do... It's about 69 and we've got blunt and clothing and all that. It's fine. Hmm. What do I want to spend it on? Quicker crafting, maybe? I don't know. Armor crafting, miss the spy list. Sexual Tyrannosaurus, we can't get the next level up yet. But we will be doing that soon. But yeah, we've uh, we've leveled up a few times in this episode as well, so that's really, really cool. And overall, I'm pretty happy with uh, what we've managed to get done. So we will be able to make a forge at the uh, 
start of the next episode, which is going to be great. And then once we got the forge up together, then we can start getting ourselves some better things. So I think, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to head back up into here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, end off the very first episode. So thank you guys so much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in episode two, where hopefully we can get started on our forge and uh, maybe collect some resources and, you know, do pretty much all the night stuff that we would need to be doing. So I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye!